Paul implies that it may be prevented from running, that the word gets impeded. Now, did Jesus teach this? Of course he did. He told us that Satan tries to steal away the seed of the word. So this happens. This, this happens perhaps every meeting we have. That's a scary thought, isn't it? <laughs> we, we can assemble here for 90 minutes, the better part of it given over to consideration of the word, and the devil and his minions are going around stealing the word, stealing it out of your heart. I am sure he has umpteen ways of doing that, distracting you, making you think about all sorts of garbage and nonsense that may be fitting at another occasion, but not today, not now, not in God's house. I think he plans it even before we ever get here. Yes, he keep you awake all Saturday night so you come to God's house and you haven't even the strength to pay attention to the Word. He's already won the battle before you get here. Stealing away the seed, preventing it from getting into the ground and germinating. Have you ever, have you ever tried to, to get anything to grow? Have you ever tried to lay a new lawn, get it germinate from seed? How hard it can be at times, how difficult it is. Maybe at times you, you, you scatter the seed and you do everything you're meant to do and you wonder, why, why didn't it grow? What's going on? I, I watered it every day. I did everything I meant to do. And the birds come, they try to steal it for sure. And all the things, the rains come heavy and wash it away. There are all sorts of things to stop it from being a success. Happens every time the word is preached. Happens to moms and dads trying to communicate the word to their children on a daily basis. The devil's there, on the, over the shoulder, ready to just come in and steal away the seed. So that you can see then why Paul's asking for prayer in this matter. He faces a foe that no man by himself can deal with. 